When I woke up this morning, I felt weird. I felt a disturbance in force. My love sense was tingling. A single thought pierces through my head. After the Nila release, is the Udi River next? I open up the PBE patch notes, and what do I find? The Udi River has just gotten put onto the PBE! I have once again synchronized with League of Legends. After having once more this conscious expanding experience, I'm here to give you my thoughts on the rework as a real OG of the deer. So some differences you're gonna notice right away is that his stances aren't really stances anymore. Only bear stance basically gives him a permanent effect, others give him his next two autos an effect. They also do like the spells effect. Correct. They were basically also able to give him an ult by double pressing one of his abilities. Um, my fear, my only fear is that um, Udir's kind of original idea is that he, he's a, a champion with no ult, with very strong basic abilities. So I'm a little bit worried that um, the improved versions are gonna scuff basically the base versions. But currently, as it's right now, it doesn't seem to be like that. He's also not going to be the speed king he used to be. It's the first thing you can notice is that he lost his movement speed on his passive. So let's uh, see the differences in the abilities. The passive right off the bat, you can see the added effect of pressing the ability. But the important thing is that you lose the movement speed from the old passive. Uh, and the attack speed only lasts, I think, two autos. It does help you refresh the passive, but I just don't think it can cover the um, movement speed lost. This indeed will change how you behave with Udyr a lot, I think. One of the days of zooming across the map doing dear things. His new Q keeps the attack speed buff on cast uh, and buffs your next two autos to do physical ma max health damage. The vacant version gives you an additional attack speed buff and your next two autos deal magical max health damage which also actually scales with AP uh, and a level is not really AD. The new Q definitely seems better in the durability era, but the early game burst will be nerfed for sure. The burst later though might be the same or more, as the max health damage is OP in the current era. His new W still gives him a shield and buffs his next two autos with lifesteal and restore a flat amount of HP. This this actually scales with AP and health, both the shield and the HP restore. The vacant version gives a higher bitch. shield while restoring HP over 4 seconds, also giving a buff to auto buff. Generally this ability looks very good, the only thing lost would be that you could stay in turtle stance and heal uh, uh, like more consistently, but overall I think this straight up improved. His new Eve gives uh, the King at Moon Speed buff, and the auto dashes with to the target and stuns for 0.75 seconds. The Vacant version gives an additional Moon Speed bonus for 1.5 seconds, which also makes you immune to immobilizing and disabling effects. This ability really seems mostly unchanged. The King Moon Speed might be better in some scenarios while constant in others. The stun is nerfed, but the per unit CD scales down. So overall, it's a net neutral change, I feel like. But, the Awaken version seems like one of the most OP abilities ever. Anytime Udyr has his Awaken, he can basically... He basically has a get out of jail free card, always. If he has his passive, he can just escape any king. So I think his top lane will be ver become very good. It also means that he can confirm his engage and not get it stopped. A uh, really strong Awaken option. And last uh, is his new R, casting a Glacial Storm around him for 4 seconds, which slows and deals magical damage. His next two autos do AoE damage within the Glacial Storm area. The Vacant causes the Glacial Storm to follow the last attacked enemy, dealing an additional max health damage and slowing additionally. Like his W, this ability is straight up improved. AoE of a 30% slow at max rank, AoE max health damage scaling with levels and AP might do less consistent damage in a more aggressive build, but the constant slow utility beats any kind of damage loss in my opinion. Even though the moon speed loss will be felt, you won't be zooming across the map, you know, like you used to. This river gives much more than it takes away, I feel like. You get the permanent slow, you get insume immunity, you get more heals, more shields. Actual skill expression with the champion itself. I think Udyr will become a true menace in T-Fights, as he's no longer simply a stun bot, but also a slow bot, and also uh, immune. He retains the ability to build pretty much uh, any t item in the game. Any build you want to make will probably fare well. 
As we're talking about builds, let's talk about what I think will be the meta. Classical Bruiser AP build is what I think will be probably meta. Demon Embrace is already not a bad item in the deer, but with all these added AP scalings making uh, tanky AP much more better than before. Straight AP will be good as well, I feel like, but it, I think it will do less damage. It has increased durability because the scaling on W is insane, but uh, it will definitely do less damage. And the max HP damage changes also fit tankier builds better. So Sunfire, Camp Tank, Demonic Embrace into Frozen Heart will be probably the play most of the times. Into some sort of AP or uh, more uh, tanky items. As far as runes are considered, I be believe there's no point in going tempo anymore. Press of the attack on Conqueror will take its place in the aggressive builds. Depending on your build, you even want to go fleet fl fl footwork. I think that's gonna give you a lot of um, ability to move in and out of fights while giving you additional sustain, aftershock, other other choices. I think will take over from little tempo. But the most important thing about this rework is the fact that they didn't sexify the deer like they would other champions. Like they even did with freaking Mundo out of all people. This man straight up has a beer belly. This, he looks like a bar fighter. Probably will get a biker skin or something now. The skin reworks are also freaking amazing. I will definitely be running the spirit guard because it keeps the old stances motifs. Now, I would like to thank you for watching. You can catch me on Twitch streaming from 9 p.m. Europe time most days. Link in the description. Like and subscribe and see ya!